Is that working? The family-owned, Nebraska-based company comprised of seven diverse brands. Chief, trusted, tested, true. Good morning, everybody. Woke up and uh, it's raining. Originally, raining. the rain wasn't supposed to start until noon, one, two o'clock today, but I guess it started overnight, meaning no harvest today. We need to get the combine torn down and put inside a building because right now with the corn head on, with the big top extensions on, it does not fit in any of our buildings. It's time to do a little bit of rearranging, some deconstruction, and then hunker down and hopefully the rain isn't a storm. And fix the corn head. And fix the corn head. Grant is going to unhook the bobcat mower so that we can use the bobcat to manipulate the head trailer. That seemed to work out really well last time. What do you think of this rain, huh, Pepper? I bet you're glad you have a little bed in a barn. The combine is going to be coming through this door right here. I'm going to move the Jeep and pick up and put them in the big building. Oh, little kitten, where have you been hiding? I am so glad that we got our trees planted yesterday. Now they can get a nice rain on them. The combine was parked in the field overnight that we were harvesting yesterday, and Grant's dad is driving it over to our house now. If you're looking for a little bit of an extra layer of protection from the chilly weather this fall, and maybe even the rain, Laura Farms hoodies are available. You can find those at bunkerbranding.com or right below this video. We need to get you to your mama, huh? Our new little grass sprouts can get some rain on them too. Today's video is sponsored by Pioneer. Pioneer has 97 years of industry history, providing farmers like me with wonderful hybrids and crop solutions. They are continually innovating to push the limits and see what's possible for farmers. Even though it's harvest time, as you can see from the green cart and tractor behind me, it is never too early to start thinking about planting. And arguably the biggest part of planting season is deciding what hybrids you're going to plant. Luckily, Pioneer has a solution. They have created a dial in your ideal hybrid online quiz you can take from the comfort of your cell phone that you carry around with you everywhere. If you are a farmer, I encourage you to take this quiz and figure out what hybrid is going to be best for you in your area. What we're gonna do is just press start. You can find the link to this quiz in the description below my video. You're going to put in your zip code. We're gonna be able to move this dial for drought tolerance, for root strength that's needed, for stock strength that's needed, for stressed emergent situations, and for how long we'd like it to stay green. And once we adjust all these dials based on whatever area and what you need, then we're just going to press find my match. You're gonna fill out some basic information like your name, and then you are dialed in. And your personalized recommendation is going to be delivered right to your inbox. I encourage you to take this quiz for yourself and share your results on social media. I'd love to see which Pioneer Hybrid is right for you. All right, now on to the video. Combine has arrived. First, we have to take off the head. Just rests on this trailer here. The corn head's just off a little bit, so Lori's just gonna move the skid steer. Come forward.
shop. All right, so this shaft comes from the power shaft that you saw Laura unhooking earlier, drives this sprocket, and that drives the big shaft that drives all the gearboxes. And look at this sprocket. Is that not a cool looking sprocket? That is a wall hanger right there. That goes right there. But see that shaft that goes through the whole thing is right here. Like you can see it right in here. Okay. And so we have to pull that shaft out. Because, because the, okay, that shaft is connected to the broken gearbox that we have. Yes. Okay. okay. I am not mechanically inclined. You guys know this about me, but I will I say, say you're, you're pretty well off. I, I'm learning. I, I'm learning. I'm just I would, like, if you blew a tire, I would have no doubt you could fix it yourself. Well, or, thank you. Like, I just don't want to tell, I don't want to give people the impression that I'm some kind of expert. This is a huge learning opportunity for me. So this is the chopping gearbox. It's out. See, it spins bad. Here's the gearbox itself. And then that shaft up there, that big one, that big one right there. That goes through all of the corn head. Well, it's like, there's actually two shafts. See, it splits. Oh, this, this so half, you're telling me that if it would have been just a little bit over. We could have just slid the gearbox off the shaft if it was on this row. But since it's this row, we got to pull the whole thing. We don't have to pull it all the way out, but we at least have to get it. Over. Okay. So we probably have to pull it out like three feet. Gotcha. And then what is this chunk of metal you have in your hands? What so, does that have to do with our whole? I'm actually thinking, well... We're gonna pull, so we'll put the piece of metal here. Okay. And then we'll put this on here like this. And then we're gonna actually back the combine up. We'll thread that in more. And we'll back the combine up to be in line with this post here on our steel building frame. And we'll use this and we'll pull that shaft out. And if that doesn't work, we have a bottle jack. This is some true farmer fixing you guys are getting to be a part of here a bottle jack now what in the world would we use that we're for put the bottle jack in there like this and push the shaft out oh That's gotcha plan anyway okay it seems like we have a pretty good strategy we will probably not be able to film this very well because my dad's here and he doesn't like being on camera so we'll try to explain without showing him i'm sorry i know i keep showing him but like so cute. You want to like eat them or use them as a makeup puff or something. They're just so fluffy. He's taking a little nap on a shop rag. There's the shaft. Got a board here. Bottle jack over there and Grant's just slowly cranking it up. Is it working? I'm not sure. Something's moving, but it's yeah. working. back up and put it in the back of the pickup.
Keep coming. Keep coming. Perfect. Perfect. Keep coming. Whoop. It's so weird. It's like our combine is missing its two front teeth or something. Just a big blank spot here. There's the bottle jack that helped us get that shaft out so nicely. What a weird way to see the corn head. I don't know if you guys are like me, but I go on YouTube to like figure out how to change my brakes or a CV axle in the geo tracker. And on YouTube, they're like, oh yeah, you just, just pop the CV out or just pop the disc off. And at home, I'm always like, this thing won't come out or the disc, or the, your brakes won't come apart. But it literally just happened to me. I don't know if we just pulled the camera out and that shaft just pulled out, but we've done that before and it's taken me like three days of grinding and polishing that shaft to get it out. And Laura just made it pop right out. We were, we were pretty intimidated from this project, honestly. That's why we were waiting for a rain day to do this because we thought that this was going to take a really long time. But from start to finish, that just getting it out, that only took us three hours. So yeah, it was like honestly way not, easy. not bad, really not bad at all. Well, we do have the skills to remove it here. I personally do not possess the skills to rebuild a gearbox, so we're taking that into the dealership to have them fix that part. Not sure how long we're going to be down, so we're just going to do a rough sweep to get the corn cobs up. And then the Makita shop vacuum, AKA the little shop pet, will go over the rest of it. It seems to be more of a kitten bed than a shop vacuum right now. We cannot really do anything harvest wise until we get that gearbox rebuilt. So Grant and I got the shop floor all swept up. The little robot vacuum did its job. We got all of our tools and parts organized nicely over here. So when we go to put it back together, it can be a quick process. But that is it for today's video. We are on the road to 500,000 subscribers and getting so much closer. If you haven't already subscribed, now is a great chance to hop on the Laura Farms adventure documentary series about farming, I suppose is what I'm doing, because I've been posting a video every single day of harvest, except on Sundays. And I have no intentions of slowing down anytime soon. So now would be a great chance to start watching videos, hop on kind of like the timeline of what's going on on a farm in Nebraska during harvest time. And then of course I've got videos about planting and irrigation and my goodness, okay, regular subscribers. What else do I have videos on? I feel like it's a lot of different stuff. But anyways, I appreciate you watching faithfully standing by my side through harvest. I appreciate you guys more than you know, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Bye.